this is where exactly how do you convert an existing uh, template, gold plan template to the latest gold plan template, right? So as for the implementation guide, it says, how do you convert? Already you're having an existing gold plan. So in terms of gold plan template, nothing is going to change, but it is a technology change by SAP where yes, if you've upgraded your uh, uh, latest gold management, right? So you, how you can see that if you, that will be, you definitely will be seeing that in the upgrade center. Okay, If you go to the upgrade center, that has been already done in my system. So for that reason, this option is coming up. So to check the latest one, go to the manage template again and objective plan. And from that, pick your template. And after picking the template, you'll be seeing a button here called convert. Okay. So this is the options which you will be using to basically convert your template to the as for the latest uh, well, management module or the version of it. So here we have three options, step three steps. Introduction, validate, convert, right? So before conversion, what they are saying, it will validate all of your goal data configuration of what of the J you are having. And if changes needed, system will guide you. Otherwise, uh, it will go to the next step, okay? So once the conversion is done, it cannot be stopped or undone, okay? Conversion takes few minutes to several hours, depending upon your configuration and amount of data we are having in it, okay? And during conversion, you continue to perform other tasks. Okay, so on the manage template page. And after conversion, what will happen? Your template is available for use in the latest goal management. Okay, so that is they are saying, and uh, it will be having its original ID so that it can be integrated with the module. It will not be changing the name of this, but for backup and reference purpose, original template can be copied. Okay, so this is the, actually the process. It's a very simple process. It's a kind of a wizard. Okay. So I will click get started. Once I do it, I can see uh, there are certain things here. I see success based on your analysis, your template, all general settings are supported in the latest goal management. So whenever I'm saying latest goal management, that is the current one. Okay. And there are certain things they're asking to validate. Okay. And what are the, these fields you will see validate fields means some of the following fields will be changed. Uh, to confirm to the latest goal management rules after conversion. Okay. So what they are saying, my students suppose, okay, this is currently an optional field, right? So the system would validate that. And similarly, field properties, from a field properties point of view, we have set, it is a new limit. Okay? They have a new limit okay, for this field. Previous limit was not there. Previously, in the old template, it was not there. But as per the latest template, uh, latest version of the latest goal management, the new limit for this is 500 characters and 1000 characters. Okay. So what part we will do after doing this, after understanding. So it is now in this step, second step is validity. And what it will do, we will simply click convert. So it is asking us a pop-up. So for backup reference purpose, original template is copied to a renamed like this in the read only mode, click OK. Now it will take some time. It will be converting. You can check the starters on the manage templates page. Okay. But it is a very simple process. Hmm. So let's say if your company or any of clients, if they are planning to move into the latest goal, they are want to use the latest goal management module. This is a simple step. Okay. The number of templates which you are having, just to follow those steps, three steps: introduction, validate, and convert. Okay, with this three steps, you would be able to convert your uh, existing template to support the latest goal management template. Okay, so this is what uh, this implementation guide says. Okay, so it will take some time. We will not be spending time there, right? But this is the process which I just thought of sharing okay? because it may come to you in the future. Okay, because many of the companies are uh, still using the old one. But as for the latest goal management, if you are to move to the latest template, Okay, so they have to convert it, right? So that is something, an interesting one, which we have learned today. So already we have done that, this process. We followed this steps only to convert those old templates to the new template, right? So now with that, so I think uh, in the 11th chapter, what else is there? Team goals in the latest goal management, okay? So do you know how do you enable the team goals? Any guess? 
So this is in the template actually. So allow group goal. Okay. And if I see in my template, let me check it out. If it is there. Yeah, it is there. Yeah. So allow group goals. Okay. So for me, it is actually in my system, it is false. Okay. That means team goals is not allowed. Okay. But if I make it a true and upload it, I will check it out. It will be coming. So did you check in your system? I think uh, is it required for your system? So it is true or false for your project? Any idea? I think uh, it is only applicable for the latest. Yes. So it is not possible in the old version of it. Okay. So only the latest goal management, it will be possible. Okay. So it, it can be set to true and uh, it can be also done both. Whether it is an admin center or provisioning, they are saying the team goals. Okay. So this is something we can do it. Okay. So this is both way we can do it. Admin center goal management feature settings so from that also we can do it so if, if i go to goal, goal management feature setting okay so meanwhile i will open a new window duplicate i will go to admin center and go to this thing called goal management feature setting <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's the objective management feature settings. If I go there, we have uh, enable team goals. Okay, well, you can see it here. So, this is something we have already done it. Okay, so that means enable team goals. So, we don't have to depend upon that thing. Okay, so here we have already enabled. Okay, that means it will work in our team goals options, right? So, this is something. Here we are saying, so yeah, you have to only update here the easy one, okay, instead of changing in the templates and all, right? And this is something we have seen here in the in this particular topic, 11th chapter. And uh, you can, from a permission point of view, so that will be inside your user permission, okay? So, who, to whom you want to give it, right? So, that will be the user permission if I go to the manage permission role. Manage permission role. Permission role. If I go to the user permission, let's search for that. I would mean or specific to your goal permission. So you will be finding that in the user permission. That will be goals managed in goals, right? User goals, managed in goals. User permissions. User permission goals, managed in goals. Manage access objective alignment chart. Create, yeah, these are the things. Manage team goals, manage team objectives, basically. Create team objectives. Okay, if you're having access to this, it will allow to access the manage team objective phase, manage, uh, allow to create team objectives, aligning team objectives, share team objectives. So this is from a permission point of view we have seen. Okay, Maybe we will be seeing this upcoming days with her end user point of view. How do you, means we are assigning to someone, how does it look like? Okay, so that is something, okay. You can also try it out and let me know how does it look like if in your test environment, right? So now, with this, we will stop here today, okay? And uh, we will continue to learn tomorrow again. So the, the smart goal wizard, as I was saying, this is something, in the, it is in the old edition, but in the current system, it is not in the latest goal management. We can skip the step and it is something, the, the principle we can follow, but uh, the wizard is actually not supported, right? So that is something we have to understand, right? Then this is something uh, we have to check it out, the defining goal uh, alignment chart, similar to the library mapping we will see, okay? So these are things, goal alignment chart also, we will see and how to set up that goal alignment. 
we will be seeing. And then we have uh, last three things we will be again. So tomorrow we will try to cover another three to four steps based on the times. Okay. And we will finishing this uh, this 13 steps implementation sequence. Okay. And then we will see further in details of those respective chapter for the outcome of those changes. Couple of things already we have seen, but uh, some things more we would like to see that. Any questions before we close session? Okay, so I'll take it as a no. So we'll stop here and we will connect again tomorrow. Mm -hmm.